Hello and welcome to the part 5 of the Scatterplot movies. It's the last part of um, showing how the Scatterplot, the portfolio view of a critical chain uh, managed project portfolio looks like in different situations. Um, the the f first part was of course a single project and fever curve. The second part was um, already three projects competing for resources and how critical chain uh, works. Um, part three was uh, a pretty nice, daggered and well done uh, portfolio. What happens if an elephant occurs in additional projects? What, what happens with uh, other projects? The fourth was, out of my point of view, the most interesting one. If you have a screwed up um, portfolio, uh, not right balanced, um, how you could uh, fix that with critical chain. Um, and that looks pretty quite well. Now the part five is the smallest of all. It's the other way around. If you have a, a good, a perfect portfolio, what happens if you uh, break the rules? Um, it must be obvious, it must getting worse. Um, so let's have a look at the uh, perfect portfolio. It's uh, four very equal uh, projects. They are somehow here in 50% uh, buffer consumption and 70% um, um, completion. That's pretty nice. Uh, it's it's scheduled to CCPM. Okay, it's four projects, but two resources. But here we have an additional one uh, that can uh, jump around and help the worst project. So um, I have to admit this is a very small portfolio, so the effect is not so huge to see. But if you do it like this, this is critical chain, uh, you would see that the projects um, will come to a positive end and they will be in the red, the yellow and green zone. So it's a perfect fine portfolio. You will have something here, something around um, the deviation from from 31% uh, from the worst to the best. Uh, we can do it again um, just to see whether it's, it's real. And you see 29%. So um, that's very reliable. Um, uh, even better, 24%. So something between 25% and 30% in in uh, min and max. So and now uh, that is a, a, a well done portfolio. Everything's fine. And now we want to screw it up. Uh, the best way to screw such a thing up is um, not to follow the critical chain rules to emphasize on the worst project, but just do it uh, randomly. And another good thing to screw up is uh, to inflexibilize uh, the resources. Um, but, but because you have one more left, you have to add it here to be fair. Um, the effect will not be very, very dra uh, dramatic, but you will see that the curves will uh, go a little uh, more uh, wider. They distribute a little longer. In this case, it's not very much. Um, so we have to run again, but it's not very visible. Now you see it better, 66%. So it's it's some kind of uh, luck or it's unpredictable. So it's uh, another one that looks pretty worse. Um, that's how to screw up a portfolio. I don't have to explain it much more. Um, it's not, uh, it's just a verification whether it's right or not. So thank you a lot for joining the Scatterplot movies. I hope you had a little fun. Um, it was mainly for us, for Wisdom, for Speed for Projects, to really understand what's happening there. But uh, we are now even more convinced that Critical Chain really helps to solve problems. So if you go back, um, that should be the, the right stuff using critical chain and flexible resources and let's have a run and it should stabilize and that's pretty nice to see 24%
all in the green, yet yellow and red, no buffer consumption, so they were all just in time. Thank you a lot. Bye bye.